Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Lindsay and today I'm here with Bella, a super cute tiny Maltese. And we're gonna teach you guys about how to manage hypoglycemia or low blood sugar with your little puppies. So I made this video for you guys because this is what I see on appointments probably about three times a week. I get a little white fluffy Maltese or a Havanese or a Shipu or a Little Poodle or a Yorkie on appointment that is having problems with their blood sugar. So why does hypoglycemia impact these little puppies? The first thing is they don't have adequate storage places in their body to store the sugar. The second thing is they have very high metabolic rates that quickly uses up any sugar in their bloodstream. And all of that makes them crash or have hypoglycemic events if they don't have sugar constantly throughout the day. So I brought some stuff here today to show you guys how to manage your little tiny one to three pound puppy's blood sugar at home. Um, these are things that you can buy, so I'll just start going through them. The first thing is honey, so a lot of people have honey in their house. So this is something you can quickly grab if your puppy is having a hypoglycemic event. Another thing that is great and recommended by a lot of vets is caro syrup. So this is just a very concentrated form of sugar that you can easily rub on your puppy's gums to get their blood sugar back up. So you lift up their gums and just rub it right there. The puppy might also just lick it. So you're good if the puppy's conscious enough to lick the sugar, you can have them just lick it. And then I just brought some random maple syrup. This is something you can use if this is all you have and you're watching this video right now in an emergent event and your puppy is crashed and it's the middle of the night. If you have maple syrup, go and grab that and start rubbing that on your puppy's gums. And then I also have here some granulated sugar. So really when you have a crashed puppy or a hypoglycemic puppy is what it's called, you can put any type of sugar on their gums to try to get their blood sugar up and that will bring them out of their comatose event, their lethargic event, their collapse event. Any sugar that you can find in your house and put on their gums can save your puppy. So here I have the medical stuff like on the veterinary side of things. It's dextrose. So dextrose 50% is what we use on them. We rub this on their gums as well as give this IV through an injection if they come in really crashed. And then another thing is NutriCal. So NutriCal is something that every puppy store should give to little puppies like Maltese's and Yorkies that can't store their sugar properly, their bodies are too little and immature. They need to have a NutriCal supplement um, given to them to, to give them as a supplement with every meal. So that's NutriCal, you can buy this at a pet store, uh, Petco, PetSmart, anywhere that has pet supplies, they should sell NutriCal. So what are the main things that you're gonna see if your puppy's having a hypoglycemic event? So when your puppy's blood sugar drops really low, let's say around 15, a normal dog's blood sugar is around 80 to 120, so 15 is really low. At that point, your dog's brain can't use that sugar. So one of the most scary things you're gonna see is a puppy that starts having a seizure. So that's when people bring them in on appointment and they're very scared and nervous, of course. And the main thing that I think about when I see a little white Maltese or a Yorkie is that they have low blood sugar and they've crashed. So that's what a crash is called, when a puppy comes in seizing or in a coma. So people that are watching this video right now, if you wanna know how often you should be giving this sugar, the Caro syrup, the NutriCal, honey, any of these sugar supplements, I would say give it about three to four times a day to start. If you go to your vet and they want you to do it more, you can do that. But if you're worried with your tiny little puppy um, and you know about hypoglycemia, I would start giving them about a little uh, dime size amount putting that on their gums or letting them lick it off with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then carrying it with you in the car or wherever you go with your puppy and giving it to, to them throughout the day. Um, so you could give it up to six times a day, I would say. 
some puppies that are crashing more than others, I would want you to wake up in the middle of the night and around four in the morning give them a sugar supplement so you avoid a crash during the middle of the night. Thank you guys for watching this video on how to manage hypoglycemia with your little puppies at home. If you know anyone who just got a one to three pound Maltese, Yorkie, or any of these little breeds that could have low blood sugar crash events, please share this video with them. And um, I really appreciate it because a lot of my clients come in and they're scared owning a little puppy like this. Um, they've actually asked me to make videos on hypoglycemia and how to treat their puppy at home. So share this video and remember to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell to get a notification that I'll be posting another video on Thursday at 5 o'clock.